of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe the Holy Spirit, a holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. For the virtues of faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, you said yes to becoming the mother of Jesus. Though you had great privilege of being mother of our Lord, Savior, and Messiah, your yes was given in light of great risk to your reputation, your future, your relationships, and even your life. You were subject to false accusation. And if not for God's protection and the love and openness of Joseph, you could have been stoned to death. Thank you for your courageous yes to life and to God's will in your life. Inspire, be present with, encourage, and intercede for many women in crisis pregnancies. They also face great risk and challenges and need courage to say yes to life in a society that pressures them to seek abortion as a false solution in their desperation. Be with them at every moment, help them choose life and be their comfort. Model and guide throughout their pregnancies at every moment. The Holy Spirit came upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Hence, the holy offspring to be born will be called the Son of God. You shall conceive and bear a son and give him the name Jesus. Know that Elizabeth, your kinswoman, has conceived a son in her old age. The virgin shall be with child and give birth to a son and they shall call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. Joseph, son of David, have no fear about taking Mary as your wife. It is to be by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived this child. He had no relations with her at any time before she bore a son, whom he named Jesus. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. The fruit of the womb is a reward. They ripped open expectant mothers. Mary said, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Mary, when you heard the news of your cousin Elizabeth's pregnancy, you went in haste to be with her, to bring her and her unborn baby the joy of the Holy Spirit by bringing Jesus alive in your womb to her. It is so easy for us to tell women not to have abortions. We are called not only to speak out for life, but also to put our respect for life into loving service. Help us to show women in crisis pregnancies compassion, understanding, and spiritual, psycho psychological, physical, and material support. Lord, bless the work of crisis pregnancy centers, of birthright, bridge to life, good council homes, and all pro-life organizations who provide help to women in crisis pregnancies and all the people who work in them. Help all of us to do our part in supporting their work. Consecrate their work and bless all the women, the babies, and families to whom they minister. 